how to breathe life into your weight loss. It's not only about what you eat or don't eat or if you exercise or you don't exercise. Taking a breath and how breathing affects weight loss and how it affects your mood and how it affects your hunger is what this video is all about. How to breathe correctly and what it can do for you. The way you breathe has a huge impact on your stress levels and can do a great deal to make you more or less stressed. That's because our breathing is deeply connected to our sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system and regulates the release of hormones and neurotransmitters such as cortisol, testosterone, and adrenaline. When you are stressed, your breathing quickens and becomes shallower. When you are relaxed, you breathe more deeply and fully. This correlation works both ways through so slowing your breath will make you less stressed and vice versa. The key is to make sure that when you are relaxing, you are able to breathe in at as deeply and fully as possible. There are a few ways to do this. Now, what they're saying is, you're upset, the first thing people take is catch your breath. Catch your breath. Breathe in. Relax. Get a hold of yourself. And the way you get a hold of yourself and the way to get a hold of your weight and the way to get a hold of your life is to co breathe correctly. Take in the, uh, the breathing because it affects everything in your system, your nervous system, your hormones, your neurotransmitter, release of hormones. It's all related to breathing. So learn to relax and learn to breathe correctly and learn to breathe when you get hungry. Take a deep breath and fight that hunger a little bit until you can eat the proper food. Abdominal breathing. Right now you're probably breathing wrong. Most of us don't give much thought to the way we breathe and as a result, we probably use bad habits. To find out if you're breathing incorrectly, place one hand on your chest and one on your stomach. Now breathe normally and make a note of which hand moves first and whether both move at all. What you might find is that the chest moves first and the stomach moves ever so slightly afterward. Unfortunately, this is wrong and it won't allow you to bring in as much breath as possible. Instead, you should breathe first by allowing your stomach to descend and which will in turn open the abdominal cavity. You should then breathe so that your lungs fill into this space and then move your chest. This not only allows you to bring in much more oxygen, making you feel much healthier, it also trains your transverse abdominals and encourages proper posture. If you look at a baby or an animal, this is how they breathe naturally. So when you breathe wrong for us, it comes down to posture again and the fact that we spend so long sitting in front of a computer, hunched over and unable to breathe from the stomach. Trying to remember to do this is not easy, which is just one more reason that your mindfulness training is so valuable. You can use it to become more mindful of the way you're breathing. Put your hands on your stomach and one on your chest and see which moves first. Equal breathing. During actual meditation though, you will find you will want to breathe as deeply and effectively as possible. One way to do this is to use something called eco breathing from yoga. This involves breathing in and out through the nose and counting the seconds for both in the inhalation and exhalation, making sure that they are equal. Ideally, you're trying to breathe in and out for a good three seconds or more, which will allow you to completely fill and then completely empty the lungs, refreshing all the important oxygen in your body. Use this as the start of your mindfulness meditation and it will help you become more relaxed and more focused and will help you improve your breath in the long term too. We have put out a video quite, quite some time back, how to deep briefly, breathe deeply uh, affects weight loss. It comes in three parts. Uh, we'll put a link to it in the, uh, in the description box. And uh, here's uh, 10 more steps you can take. 
Tanks have to become less anxious. Now, what being anxious has to do with weight? Well, if you're anxious, your body's flooding your, your brain and your body with hormones and cortisol and stress factor, in turn, kicking up the hunger hormone. And that's one of the reasons why we have such a struggle losing weight. So the first thing to do is breathe deep, deeply. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. You know, breathing through your nose brings the oxygen directly to your lungs. When you breathe through your stomach, it has to go from your stomach to your lungs. Breathe in for a count of four. Hold for a count of four and exhale for a count of four. Do this throughout the day to relax yourself, to catch your breath. Breathe when you're not inclined to be self-aware. Breathe when others are not self-aware. Breathe before you say or do anything unkind. Breathe before you say yes. Breathe before you say no and keep breathing. You know, basically, people that smoke are actually using the cigarette as a form of catching their breath. Unfortunately, when they do smoke, they're bringing the cancer into their bodies. So what smoking does, actually, is form of breathing. But you can do the same and get greater benefit from not smoking, but inhaling oxygen, not smoke. Inhaling the breath of life. Because, you know, once we're not here anymore, we can't breathe anymore. So life is the very essence, or rather breathing is the very essence of life. Breathing is the secret to life, success, happiness, joy, peace of mind. And to help you learn more, we're offering our wonderful ebook series, The Power of Mindfulness for Weight Loss. Go to SaturdayMorningDiet.com slash forward uh, mindfulness for weight loss. Please share this information with everybody in your world. Catch your breath, lose the weight, get control of your life, and pass it on. Help us get the word out to help people struggling with the addiction of obesity. Take care. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.